Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to my live video. Okay, so let's let's do a couple of things here. I need to pin my site. Did that work? They've changed the whole like how this goes and how this works. So I'm trying to make sure that. Okay, so let me. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere now. I think. <laughs> I think it's going to work. I think. I think it's going to work, guys. I think, I think, I think. <clears throat> so if you're just joining, hello. Say hi when you come on so that I know you are here. Okay, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> this... They changed this, like they update it. And so I have to like read through everything to make sure I've got everything that I need. And anyway, anyway, anyway. So hello, if you're just joining, my name's Stephanie and I am an independent presenter with Unique. And I am happy that you are here. <sighs> Say hello when you come on. Why do I keep hitting the wrong button? <laughs> they keep updating this on me and then I have to like figure out how to do it all over again. Okay, so let me just go through here. Hey Jess, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Long time no see. Long time no see for a lot of people. It's been a long time since I have been here, and I have missed you guys so much. Oh, jeez. Let me hit this again. Okay. So. We've got so much to talk about. Like, I'm just excited to be here with everybody. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. All right, guys. Hey, Sharla. Hello, hello. All right. First things first. Girls, guys, whoever's here. Like, my hair needs to be done so bad. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen worse roots than what I have right now. Like, it's been... It's been like Thanksgiving. No. Yes, I think it was Thanksgiving or right before Christmas, maybe. Anyway... Anyway, anyway, I'm just so happy to be here, guys. Like, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Looking for, here we go. Thanks for all the hearts, Jess. I've missed everybody so much. Miss everybody so, so much. Let me put these bangs back. Because they're going to be up in the way. <clears throat> so, if you are new, hey, Regina. Hey, Regina. So, if you're new to my videos, my name's Stephanie and I'm an independent presenter with Unique. Everything that you'll see me use tonight is a Unique product. Um, and you can get on my website, which is pinned below. Please share the video. Um, there should be a share button in one of the corners, depending upon what kind of phone you're using. You should be able to see a share button. If you'll just share this to your personal wall and then the comments put shared. 
We have prizes to give away tonight, and we have prizes to give away later this week. Oh, thanks for all the hearts, guys. You guys are sweet. So if you have anybody in your family or family of friends um, that likes makeup, invite them because we just have a good time here. And I just use rose water. If anybody's wanting to know what I just use is rose water. I use rose water for my toning spreads to help with the redness that I have. I've gotten a lot of messages and questions recently about redness. So I think it must be something that a lot of people are experiencing these days. Rose water and our foundation are my saving graces for my redness. Now I'm just using some eye primer to put this on. All right, guys. So first things first, um, I'm in a contest with my team tonight to um, sell kudos before midnight. So they asked us to sell four kudos or if, whoever sells four kudos gets a prize, put it that way. And so if you sell more, you get more prizes, obviously, but the minimum is four. So if you are been on the fence about the kudos, um, curious about them, not sure about it, please go to my page and look that up. Um, I have ordered mine, but they have not gotten here yet, so I won't be able to display them tonight, unfortunately, and I hate that because they're so pretty. Like, I can't wait to get them in. Like, I totally just cannot wait to get them in. Um, something else I'm going to do real quick because I these new hair products are amazing. Oh, my gosh. Um, the last time I was wide, which was two weeks ago because I've been so sick, um, can you all see these roots? Oh my gosh. Girls. Like, my hair is getting done this week, just so you know. Um, yes, these amazing hair products are, oh my goodness. So you just saw what I just did, right? Um, this is called Puff Me Light. Um, and what it is, like a texture Oh my gosh. So when you put this in your hair, you just kind of rub it in a little bit and you automatically have like height and texture. So my hair, if you knew me before my thyroid issues, you knew I used to have um, natural curly hair and it was so full like all the time. Full. I didn't have a problem with fullness. I didn't have a. Hey, Krista. I've missed you guys so much. It's been unreal how much I've missed you guys. So, yes, big hair, don't care, obviously. Um, I don't have full hair anymore. Like my thyroid problems, and when they say thyroids don't cause problems, let me just go ahead and tell you. My thyroid causes problems all the time. Um, no, Jess, you're not. I had several people message me. Um, and then I had several other questions as well. So, but thank you for your comments. I appreciate it. Um, so, I used to have big, like, full, natural curly hair that was like, didn't ever, I never needed any of this stuff. So I really didn't know like what products were good. And so my upline uses these because she has kind of the same problems. Um, and so, yeah, um, she turned me on to these, which are, oh my goodness, amazing hair products. I get them from designmehair.com. And if you are interested in anything that um, hair-wise, um, you let me know because I have ways of helping you out. So, um, anyway, let's 
juice and makeup. I've gotten primer, um, face primer, and eye primer on my face right now. And I'm going to, and rose water. I forgot about the rose water. Um, but I will be, thanks for all the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. So let's do, this is our liquid foundation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the color organza. So my contest with my team ends at midnight. So if you have been on the fence about those beautiful February Kudo colors, now's the time. Because just saying, anyone that makes a purchase of those kudos to help me in this contest may just get a free gift from me. Just saying, there might be a little something in it for you. Because I'm kind of the person that if I get, you know, supported, then I support you. So, I also will be starting a VIP group here on Facebook for my customers and supporters. So it will be different than this group, but anybody that um, purchases from me on a regular basis or um, is wanting to purchase very, very soon, then I will, I'm gonna start a VIP group and I will be loving on those people. So yeah, I'm excited. So we kinda, my husband and I bit the bullet today and okay, Charlotte, it's good to see you. Um, we kind of bit the bullet today as far as, um, cable. Like, I don't know how much you guys are paying for cable, but oh my goodness, we were paying crazy amounts for cable. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this is because this contact is so out of focus that I can't even hardly see my face. <laughs> um, but we were paying crazy amount for cable. Like, I'm just, I'm still floored at what ended up happening. Sorry, I'm having some issues with this phone holder. So I'm kind of still floored about what ended up happening and how we ended up getting what we got after we cut the cable, I mean, cut the cord on the cable. It's kind of like birthing a child. You just kind of, you know, you always have it and it's always there. I'm just kidding. It's not even compared to a child, but like it, we've always just had cable. So we just continue to pay these extremely crazy amounts for cable. And we all of a sudden were like, why are we doing this? We need to check into what's, what else is, you know, options we have. So we started doing that. And, um, my brother who hasn't had cable for a long time, um, of course we're all big UK fans, except for my husband he's a U of L fan, but my brother has a, he doesn't miss a game just about like me. I don't miss a game. And so we try to, talk to him and he's like, you know, I have a Roku and I have Sling TV and I have um, like a sports package and whatever. You don't miss a game. And we have, Tommy and I have several shows that we like to listen, I mean, like to listen to, like to watch. So um, we kind of like, we're just investigating that, trying to figure out what we needed. Well, we ended up with, um, yeah, Tommy, I'm totally seeing you. Um, so, anyway, we ended up with, we have a smart TV, um, a 4K smart TV. So, we actually were able to get an app on there, and it was Sling TV. So, it, you can get Sling TV, you can get so many channels, and you get a sports package for $45 a month. That beats the heck out of the $207 we were paying for our cable provider. So, I'm not going to miss a game. Um, so in our TV, well, like I just said, we is a 4k smart TV. So we weren't able to use the 4k 
on our cable provider because they were going to charge us over $200 more on to use the 4K. So when we switched to Sling just a few minutes ago before I came live, we're at, we have 4K now. So not only were we getting the channels and everything that we needed, but we now have 4K and are able to use it for $45 a month. Like, I looked at, my husband looked at me and looked at him. I said, why, why were we not doing this before? I'm a little confused why we weren't doing this before. Because it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it's totally insane. The money that we're saving. And this is per month. Not year. <laughs> not every two years. It's we were paying over $200 a month for cable. And when we could just use our Sling TV app and get everything we wanted. Everything we needed. I mean, we have um, Hulu, too. So, I mean, if there was, by chance, a TV show that we weren't going to get on our TV, then we would be able to get it there, but. I mean, we got all the channels we really kind of wanted, so it worked out for the best. My skin's so dry. It always is so dry in the winter. I've been using our nighttime correcting cream during the day. I always usually have, especially in the summer, I mean, the winter time, I use it every day, sometimes day and night, because it's so um, moisturizing. And my face is so dry. So. It's been. Winter is never good for my skin. It always dries out so much. And I'm just using our setting powder now. <clears throat> for that. So what's been going on with everybody? I've missed everybody so much. Like I don't even know. I just. I've been so sick. I was so sick. I ended up having um, strep throat and double pink eye. I got I was starting to get better kind of with the sore throat. And then I got double pink eye last week. So that kind of set it all back off. And it's been a trying, trying, trying couple of weeks. I have been, um, I was planning on going live. Was it last? Yeah, it was Wednesday, last Wednesday. And my eye just was like closing because it was so swollen. And so I'm like, I can't use any eye makeup on it. Like, this is not good. Not good. I need to share this to my personal wall. Um, so yeah, it was not good at all. Um, it was a very interesting last couple of weeks to say the least. The very least. So what's been going on with everybody? Nobody? Everybody's so quiet tonight. Oh no. Regina, I'm sorry to hear that. That stinks. Oh Jess, I didn't realize you were having surgery. What is wrong with my laptop? Thanks, Regina. I hate to hear that you've got some stuff going on that stinks. And Jess, I wasn't, I guess I didn't know that you were having surgery. I don't know. All right. I'll do something a little different tonight. Cervical spine C7. Okay. What are they doing there? Are you doing a fusion? This is BB cream and the and the color honey, and I'm gonna be contouring with this color. That's what I'm shaking up, and I usually use bisque as my like foundation color, but I'm out of it. Well, I'm close to being out of it. Like the sides are starting to touch each other, and we're we don't have it in. It won't be until um till March. Another brain MRI on the 19th, very scared. 
Regina, are you scared because of your history or are you scared because there's a reason? I mean, do you have new stuff going on? Okay, Jess. Well, fortunately, I have heard lots of people have very good um, outcomes with fusions and they are not too, too terrible pain wise. And I've heard a lot of people have some really good luck with those. So hopefully the pain and everything you've been experiencing up until this point is not going to be as bad. All right. So what I do with contouring, go to the top of your ear, down towards your mouth, like you're drawing them like a imaginary line. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to... And I've just got this sponge folded with some honey on it. And I'm just going to go straight down. I'm going to do a little bit more. And basically what this does is just kind of develops that cheekbone area. Or my face is so chunky. It's kind of hard to see that cheekbone area. <laughs> yes, I feel things have gotten worse. I'm feeling some physical pain in my face. Oh no, Regina. Well, Regina, we're going to lift you up in prayer because the Lord will be with you and the Lord's always had you. He will continue to have you. I have no doubt. And, you know, you have to just stand strong in your faith. And I know of you, of all people, know that. Stand strong in your faith and we're going to lift you up in prayer, even us as a group. We'll lift you up in prayer because that's just all you can do. But you know that Tommy and I especially are here for you always. If you need anything, if we can help with anything, you let us know and you know we will do it. Or if, I mean, if, if at all possible, we will do it. We will do it. In times like these, there's just, you know, and you go to Louisville for your MRIs. Am I right? Correct in saying that? You go to Louisville? I know that your neurologist is in Louisville, so I'm just assuming that you have that test done there as well. Sorry, I had to restart my laptop because I was trying to share this to my personal wall and my laptop was like looking like it was. It obviously needed to be restarted. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so now I'm doing the kind of the same thing. And I'm going to kind of go around. My forehead here. Now, if you have a small forehead, you're not going to want to do a whole lot of this. That's why this BB cream is so great. And I think, oh, there we go. Okay. I thought I had a piece of hair up in there and I think I did. Um, so, but if you have a larger forehead, then it's great because it will, it kind of just, um, shortens the forehead look. But if you have a shorter forehead, then you don't want to do as much contouring because you don't want to take away your forehead completely, if that makes any sense. All right, so I used BB cream and the color honey. I'm just putting my face on a diet right there is all I did. That's all I did. Okay, so I'm going to grab a paper towel. 
and grab my brush cleaner because brush cleaner is life. If you use brushes you don't, and you don't have this brush cleaner, whoa, do you need to get some because it's amazing. It's an oil-based cleaner, so it doesn't use it. You don't have to get your brushes wet, so therefore you don't have to wait for them to dry, but it still cleans them, and it's amazing. <clears throat> it's amazing. So if you're new to my videos and you don't see a red live button above my head, you are catching the replay. Just put hashtag replay in the comments so that I know I missed you, and I can come back and say hello. And then, um, also, if you share my video to your personal wall, um, please put shared in the comments so that I can include you in the shared drawings that I do. Yes, Jess, I think we all have to have that regardless of whether we are stay at home or, um, what have you, whatever, whatever we do, we kind of have to have his guidance and everything, I believe, or I do. Um, so it's great to open, open your day with that. It's great to open your day with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend this on both sides. And now this is just a brush that I just took out of the container. I didn't put anything on it. I'm just blending on both sides. So at the top and at the bottom, and then I do that until it looks like that I don't have any like obvious lines, but I still have that contour there. So it's great. And then up through here as well. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my Sunset Bronzer. I'm sorry, Hermosa Bronzer. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this along the jawline so that I can get that um, jawline pronounced just a little bit better, and then try to hide this double chin. Yeah, trying to hide this double chin. So I just go right below my chin and then I just pull back on that. You know, it's kind of like, and I know this is nothing compared to the health issues and um, other issues that we that I could have, but you know, I depend um, a lot on these live videos to connect with you guys and it's been really really hard to to do that because um first part of the year um or the middle part of January I guess I should say I was you know put in Facebook prison or what have you for however long and then so I was took fought that and tried to get myself back online from that and then I got sick so then I had to you know, try to get myself better um, and try to get back that way. And when I was almost better, then I had, you know, the other issue with my pink eye. So it's just, I feel like no matter what you have going on, you're always kind of fighting your own battle. You know what I mean? And if I didn't have the Lord above to show me the way, then... I would maybe be in a world of hurting. No, maybe to it. I would be in a world of hurting. I shouldn't say maybe anything because I would be. I already know, girls. I already know. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate it so, so much. We appreciate it so, so much. Let me turn this volume off on my laptop. Okay. Okay. So now I'm using the brow palette. This is the brow palette. As you can see, I'm going to need to order a new one very, very soon. Got 
foundation on my nail there. And so this is wax that goes on your brows. It's tinted. So what it does is just kind of lay everything down. So I'm going to, I use that, um, to kind of lay everything down. And then I use the colors to help. Oh, thank you, Tally. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. You guys like just don't even know. Like just totally don't even know. Okay, so here's the other thing that I am going to forget if I don't say it right now. Seeing Tally's name pop on here reminded me that um, if you are, if you've been thinking about for months or on the fence about joining my team or maybe being a unique presenter, I can promise you right now is the time. And here's why. You have two kits to choose from. One is a complete eye set, so you get all everything, brushes, a, uh, palettes, like eight different colors of um, eyeshadow, I mean, eyeliners, mascara, lash esteem serum, it goes on and on and on, okay? So that's one. The other one is a lot of our skincare line. So, oh my goodness, like either one is fabulous, okay? And you're getting a huge, huge deal on those. Um, but they're going to give you, you know, this Cancun trip is coming up for all of us at, with Unique. So it's all inclusive. Everything's paid for. Um, but you have to have so many points that you get to be there. Okay. Um, so in order to go, you have to have so many points. They're going to give you a buttload of points just for joining. Then you're going to have 90 days where you have to just do a few things to get 10,000 points, okay? Then they're going to give you Y cash to go towards whatever, whatever you want. Any kind of purchase you want, you can put that in and that's, that's covered. Plus you get all access accessibility to me, like every day, all day. Uh, no brainer. No brainer. Okay. So yeah, if you have been, even if you've been wanting to go to Cancun or on a vacation, hello. I mean, this is the time. Promise. <laughs> like I, I've been with Unique eight months. And I've never seen it better. I'm not sure it's going to ever be better, honestly. Because this Cancun trip and they get the, all the points they give you. Like, it's just. I want to be a new presenter. I want to join my team all over again right now. Because it's amazing. Like the points. I need the points. It's just funny. It's not funny. It's amazing that they're giving you. Okay, girls, you guys know I cannot go without my tweezers. And oh my goodness, right now, like I have to have them. Okay, so then there's that. I'm going to take care of this. I've been wanting to go play bingo. I know this is totally off the subject, but I don't, and I really, really, I love bingo. Do you all like bingo? Does anybody like play bingo? Do you like going to bingo halls and playing? I want to go. I've been wanting to go. I know that was really, really random, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, but it just hit my brain, so it came out my mouth. Sometimes I do that with things. 
they come out my I mean they come into my brain so they come out my mouth sometimes it's an okay thing sometimes it's a oh you should have waited on that type of thing I do too Jess bingo and bunko is so fun So, we get these brows done. Oh, Jess, I usually go to Louisville. It's a lot closer for me. Um, plus, it's pretty cheap there. Like, between 5 and $8 to play for like two and a half hours. So, yeah. I, Louisville is usually... I mean, like, we have a hall not very far from here, but it's expensive. It's like 40 bucks. I mean, if you win, that's great, but if you don't, then you're kind of SOL, you know what I mean? So, all right. So, what I did was I used the wax to lay everything down, and then I did this color to kind of fill everything in. And what I'm going to do now is go back with the same color and kind of just block them in. And this is kind of just outlining everything. Basically just giving them some sort of a shape. And I've and I'm what I use is my actual natural shape, natural brow shape. Um but it, I seem to like them better if I give them that block kind of I don't know. Maybe it's me, but I like them better this way. So what I do now is I'm just using the liner brush that comes on the end of the liner shader brush. So it's real easy to kind of um, use. Thanks for sharing, Regina. So appreciate it. And then I'm just gonna kinda block this in a little bit more. Hey, Debbie. Thanks for sharing. So those of you that aren't normal, um, haven't already done this. I shouldn't say aren't normal, but <laughs> anybody that's in my group is probably not normal anyway. Just kidding. Um, but I haven't already done this. If you just like touch the screen right now, if like you just want to punch me in the face, just punch me in the face. And then a little like small white box will pop up at the end at the bottom okay there's going to be a word that says follow there just click it and that way you're following me so anytime that i go live you're notified so just make sure and do that if you have already done it and you're really not sure hit the screen anyway the box is going to pop up if it says following that means you've already done it so you don't have to do it again so don't undo it <laughs> Because if you hit it again, then it's just going to take that off. So, yeah, what I was saying was that anybody that's normal would not be in my group because I'm a little batty sometimes. And I think to be in my group, you have to be a little batty with me. Just saying. Thanks, Jess. I appreciate it. All right. So now I'm going to go back in and do this a little bit better. Just very, very lightly, easily. Kind of. There we go.
And this one's a little bit wider than the other one, but it seemed like my natural was a little bit wider than the other one. You know, and here's the other thing about brows is they're never going to be the same. You probably are never going to do your brows that they are exactly the way you did them the day before or the day before or the day before. Like it's not going to happen. <laughs> At least for me, it doesn't happen. Now like, you may be able to do it. And if you can, you might want to film me in on your secrets because I don't know them. Um, but they, what my upline says, and it's so true is that sis, the brows are sisters, not twins. So they look alike, but different. Because you're probably never going to get them exactly like, exactly the same. And brows are kind of like hair. Like you have good brow days and you have, you know, you have bad hair days. You kind of have bad, bad brow days. Like if that makes any sense. <laughs> Take a drink of water there. Now what I'm doing now is I'm going back with this kind of a cream color and it is um, a highlighter so that you kind of help them to blend. And I do that because of my blonde hair. I like want them to blend as much as possible. So I just got a message from somebody that said they couldn't, they were having a hard time finding my video. So I'm just going to send them a quick invite. Okay. So now I'm going to use this and this goes on your skin, on your brow bone, right below your brow. So you just put it here. And then I just kind of blend it a little on both sides and then down. And this will make you appear to have your brows higher on your face. So therefore you look younger. Right? Turning back time for you girls. Turning back time. Right here. Right now. Okay, so now the brows are good, and we are going to finish up this contour. So you can see that I used that honey contour. Um, that's the BB cream that we used. I'm going to use some Hermosa bronzer and kind of darken this up a little. And I usually use just the Hermosa bronzer, but I've started using the BB cream with it and I really like it. Hey, Jessica. Thank you for sharing. You missed it, girl. I was just talking about how bad my roots are. <laughs> and how bad my hair needs you. So guys, Jessica, who just joined the video, um, is my hairstylist. She's amazing at what she does. She's at the Beauty Box Salon in Elizabethtown, if you are local to me. And oh my gosh, she's amazing. Um, I don't know, Thursday morning, Friday, anytime Friday. But I've got something to do Thursday afternoon, so... Anytime Thursday morning or Friday is good. Sounds amazing. And see, she just comes on your live and does your appointment for you. Can't get any better. 
You could not ask for any better. She's amazing at what she does, too. I don't know if my hair's ever looked so good or I've liked it so much. Oh, yeah, I thought you were protesting me. Thanks for explaining. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just, just kidding. All right, now I'm going to go back with Sunset Bronzer, which is my normal bronzer color. And I'm going to kind of just do my norm with this. Just my normal bronzing it up here. Bronzing it up. Bronzer is my jam. And if you're not using a bronzer, and it doesn't have to necessarily have to be unique, but if you're not using a bronzer during the winter, girls, what are you letting your makeup game fall to? Oh my gosh. You gotta have a bronzer. Like it's a must. Those aren't laying right. That's gonna drive me nuts. Looking for my spoilie here. Okay. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist on some things. Not everything, just some things. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Hi, beautiful. Okay. Let's do some blush. Let's do some blush. Let's do some blush. I love the name Sheraton. I think it's so pretty. Maybe it's just because the only Sheraton I know is beautiful, and that's Jessica Sheridan. Um, because she's gorgeous. How are you, Tracy? Okay. So if you're just joining and you haven't heard yet, I am in a contest today. Hey, Jessica. Long time no to see to everybody. Um, but I'm in a contest tonight with my team. And I have to sell kudos. Four kudos is all I need. It's four. Four kudos. Yes, I'm missing a ring. So if you guys notice, no, I, Tommy and I are still together. It's just at the jewelry shop. So I don't want anybody thinking, oh, God, she only has one ring on. No, I mean, everything is still good. Everything's still good. He's still my Prince Charming, but, but it's at the jewelry shop. So that's, that's up with that. That's what's up with that. Oh no, Tracy, you got a sick one. No, everybody's been sick. Everybody's been sick. Can't stand it. All right, so let me just see what I want to do here. I was. And I think I'm going to pull out my pressed shadows. I don't have my kudos in yet, or I would be doing them because they're absolutely amazing. Okay? Let's just say that. Let's go ahead and get that out there. They're amazing. Okay, so what do I want to do? So I've had a lot of questions lately too about like eyeshadow. How do you do it? What do you do? What do you do? Um, upper respiratory infection. Oh wow! And I know those make you feel. Oh my goodness. Debbie's gotten her kudos. Mine should be here like any day, and I don't know how or how or why. They're not here yet. They should be here. Like, 
Watch me get them tomorrow, which will be perfect because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Um, I can wear them for Valentine's Day because they're so beautiful. They're like all like Valentine's -y colors, you know? That's the greatest part. All right, so I'm going to use Timid, which is an eye pressed, one of our pressed eyeshadows. And I'm going to use the sponge brush with that and use this as an all over color, kind of like a base. Yes, Tally, me too. I'm so excited about him. So excited. Now I'm in a competition for these kudos tonight. It ends at midnight. So anybody or 11.59, I should say, not midnight. 11.59. So if you've been on the fence wanting to order them, not sure. Anybody that makes a kudos order. There may be something in it for you is all I can say. you need the link message me and I would greatly appreciate it okay so that's timid that's an all-over pressed eyeshadow now I'm gonna do devout okay this is one of these colors in our anniversary palette this was in November the kudos for November we are known for beautiful colors in our kudos okay so this was kudos in November and this is devout so what I did for anybody that's been sending me I've been sending getting lots of messages about how to do eyeshadow so what only thing I do typically is use a color of some sort of a neutral um, and you don't have to do it this way this is just what I do and it's just a mere suggestion um, but I use a neutral color of some sort, a light base of some sort to do the bottom lid and even up into the top a little. Um, but like just now I use Timid, so it's kind of like a flesh almost color, but it kind of gives you a good base. So I start with that and then I'm going to use our, um, this is our blending brush and I use it to put on my um, transition color. So... Our eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. So just so you know, so go light and then you can always add more, okay? But it's hard to take off if you've added too much and not mess up everything, you know? So. And I'll always just kind of blow off the excess because they are so pigmented that it takes very little bit. That way you don't have as much fallout too if you're shaking off the excess. And sometimes what I'll do is take that blending brush and come from the corner in and just run it in the corner a little bit. That way you get the blending part of it, okay? And it kind of blends into that bottom a little bit. That way it doesn't look like you just have a big... And I do go a heavier over here on the side some. And here's why, is my eyes are hooded lids. I have hooded lids. So when I close them, you don't see as much of what I'm actually putting on. But over here, you still see that. So I go a little bit heavier 
over here on the sides than I do all the way around. Now, if you don't have hooded lids, you're going to want to do that the same all the way around. And I mean, by round, I mean this way, okay? But when I open my eyes, did you see kind of what I, what I face here? So that's kind of why I have to do mine a little bit different. Y'all, I don't even know if that, cam that camera is not at all picking up how beautiful this really is. But I'm going to grab another blending brush that I have. And this is not a unique brush. This is just a normal, another company. I don't even remember the name of it. But I'm just going to blend that out just a little. Yeah, Jess, and I, I'm really afraid that if people don't get the kudos this month, they're going to be really upset that they didn't. They're already 85% sold out. I mean, that's how top sellers they've been so far. Um, because it's going to be just like these. Once they're gone, they're gone. They're never coming back. But these colors are so amazing from this palette and from um, the February Kudo palette. Like, it's just, I mean, like, I cannot wait to get mine. I wish I already had them so I could wear them tomorrow for sure. But maybe I'll get them tomorrow. That would make me super happy. <laughs> super duper happy. All right, so then I'm going to go down here on the bottom a little bit and just kind of blend that in the side. I mean, this color is beautiful. Love this devout color. So I'm just going to grab that other blending brush and do it at the top just so that it makes that transition not so harsh. And you don't have those harsh lines. One of my cats is on the other side. I have the door shut to my office. One of my cats is trying to get in. You can hear her out there. You but you guys might have just heard her. It's so funny. <laughs> so funny. She is for sure a mama's girl. How gorgeous I mean like really gorgeous okay now what I'm gonna do for my to offset my hooded lids is I'm grabbing this color I don't know why I'm pointing down here but it's this color okay it's just a arrogant it's not like an everyday brown and I'm grabbing my shader brush and I'm just gonna go very lightly into this crease And I'm going to pull up just a little bit. Not so that color is pronounced and you can actually see it. But by darkening that crease and pulling up a little bit, I'm making my eyes have the optical illusion that they're not so hooded. Do you guys see the difference? No? It's a little difficult. Hair in my face. I can totally see it. I don't know why this camera's not picking up anything tonight for some reason. Like, you can't totally see... 
how beautiful this color that be let blue devout color is. Okay, so I already have eyeliner on the top from earlier today. I'm just going to um, freshen that up a little bit, and I just used black, which was, it's perfect. It's a color perfect, and it's a pencil liner. And I'm going to do this. This contact is going to be the death of me. I've gotten a, another message just came across from my team leader. So give me just a second to check this. Okay. So she's just telling me that um, the kudos is even more sold out now, but we don't have a percentage yet. People are probably ordering them and then doing like an expedited order like shipping so they can have them for this weekend because people I think most people are gonna go um celebrate Valentine's Day this weekend instead of doing it in the middle of the week so they're gonna be sold out I bet for the end of the week All right, and this is just white eyeliner, and it just actually, I put it on the bottom to make my eyes look more open. Oh, man. Okay, so now for the bottom liner, I'm going to take the liner brush, okay, And I'm going to go right on the underside of my waterline with that devout blue color that I use on the upper lid. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it out with the other end of the brush, and that's the shader brush. All right, I need to clean this brush I've got. I'm going to use my handy-dandy brush cleaner because I don't have to wait for it to dry when I use that. It's amazing, just saying. Do you see the difference? Like it's amazing the difference that eyeliner adds to your eyes. And if you guys aren't doing brows, a brows is another thing that like people can't go without. They think that's okay and they truly need brows like brows would be change their whole look you know 
So even if you do them with a pencil, which I did, I still do sometimes do a pencil, pencil liner. I mean, pencil, brow pencil. I'm just fill them in with a brow pencil. You don't have to go the whole brow palette, you know, full color like I do. You can just do a fill them in with some with a brow pencil and it would be just the same. Oh, thank you, Miss Hartman. I agree. It was a it's a been a rough couple of weeks for sure. Rough couple of weeks. But the look I'm doing right now is, um, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. The look I'm doing right now is um, more of a nighttime look. Like if you're going to go out to a nice dinner or, you know, you're going on a date, state night, what have you. Oh, God, I posted a video um, l last night. It was late when I posted it, but um, it's still on there on my group page. And it was one of the girls, um, one of the unique presenters, her husband, um, did this. And she didn't know about it. Like, you will see, if you watch it, you will see comments on there. And she is, um, she she says that she's at school picking up their kid. Like, she's in the school line like waiting to pick up their kid from school so <laughs> he gets a a unique box um that's been that was on their front porch or wherever and he gets it and he brings it in and he's like he said i've i've seen her do these unboxings and i've seen other presenters do these unboxings and um so <laughs> <laughs> he opens it and it's epic mascara and he puts it on and it's hilarious like to hear him talk about mascara is absolutely hilarious I laughed so hard watching that and I don't know her personally I mean I know who she is but I know I don't know her personally nor do I know him but it's so funny to see that it's so funny you guys should check it out like it's it's so funny so all right, so I already have Epic Mascara on my eyes. I'm just going to go back and just do redo these a little bit. Um, or actually, I should say touch them up. I'm not going to redo them. I'm going to touch them up just a little bit. Um, and it's basically because earlier when I did it, I only did one coat. And I was rushing. So, because I had to go to the doctor today. Um, and I ran out of time trying to get ready. I didn't even wear foundation or powder or anything. They probably thought, this unique girl, she comes in here looking a hot, hot mess express. <laughs> and then she goes home and does her videos and puts her real face on. Just, it's just funny. Okay, so then I'm going to do... A little bit more down here. Okay. I'm going to touch up my other eye.
Okay. <laughs> Chrissy, you shouldn't have left. You missed the, the eye part. Okay. Epic Mascara is life. If you're not using Epic Mascara, you haven't seen mascara until you use this, okay? I'm just going to say that. Just going to throw that out there because it's the truth. Teetotally the truth. Okay, so now is this Sublime. Let's do Sublime because I haven't used Sublime in a while. This is Pouty Lip Liner. Now what I do to do my Cupid's bow is I start in this corner and do a zigzag or diagonal. Basically make it an X right there. And then and I like to outline it a little bit here. I mean overline. I shouldn't say outline. It's overline. And then this is sublime. Let me show you what we're getting ready to do with our lips to make them just a little bit poutier. I'm going to grab my Sunset Bronzer. Thank you, Krista. So sweet. Krista, I thought you had pouty. Did you not get pouty? Yes, it's a matte. Beautiful. It's like one of my favorite. That and Stellar. My favorites. And the thing is, you can never get them like they don't stay in stock because they just... People love them. And I'm just using my powder concealer brush for this. And it's just because this, um, what starts with a P? Oh, you're, thank you, Jess. I appreciate that. Um, and now, like I was saying, I was, this concealer brush is just perfect for these out, for the outside of my nose. And basically all I'm doing is just contouring my nose. Like I contoured my cheeks and my forehead. It's just the same. Okay. Now I'm going to take this, but I'm going to use Hermosa and I'm going to pinch this. And now I'm going to use my Optimistic. There it is. I'm using my shader brush. I 
Oh, prudent. Okay. So you can see, like, I just made this stand out a little bit more. And all I did was add a pressed shadow, which is optimistic. This is what I used to highlight. Um, yeah, pouty is a nude. I mean, this is the color that's on the end of it. But, um... It's kind of a hard time seeing that, I think, for some reason. Maybe I'm too close. So, yeah, it's um, it's kind of got a rose-looking color to it. But I think, I mean, I feel like it's more, I use it as a nude. But Pouty and Prudent are both more of our nude colors. Okay, so then I'm going to choose this to highlight... And all I'm going to do there is just kind of, just, just basically to wipe away that bottom line that you get when you're doing highlight. Or when you're putting on shadow. So, I just basically take my finger and do like that. And it kind of blends both of those colors together. So, your highlight and then that outside color that I just used, the devout, kind of blends those two together. And I need a little bit more blush because you guys know that's how I roll. Blush is the same way, so pigmented, so that you want to make sure and just knock off that excess. All right, guys, set and ready to go. Don't forget, I'm in that contest tonight, and I am going to be selling, or I'm sorry, I need to sell four kudos, okay, by midnight, four. Um, that's it. It's all I have to sell is four. Um, and then I get a prize, and usually when I get prizes, I send prizes out. So anyone that makes a purchase on that kudos tonight, I will be sending you a free gift in the mail. Um, and it's something you kind of want, okay? Just saying. All right. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.